Okay, where can you get amazing views of 108 degree weather and spiders that can carry your children off? Sedona, Arizona. Hey, so welcome back to the Happy Trekkers channel. My name is Mike, and today I am in Sedona, Arizona, and it is proving to be one of the most beautiful places I have ever been. And I've been a lot of places around the world. It's just so beautiful. I, how many times can you say that? I am out here with the uh, Happy Trekker Mobile uh, and Mrs. Happy Trekker. And it's just it's, it's stunning. It's, I, I'm gonna keep saying that word stunning and beautiful because it just, I, I, I don't have the vocabulary to better say it, but it is absolutely beautiful. We are on a trail called Schnebly Road Trail, uh, and it's a super easy trail. It's very bumpy, very rocky, but you get these amazing sights uh, the whole way. But really, the whole town is this way. I <laughs> think anywhere you go, you're gonna get these beautiful sights. Just, I'm in love with this town. Not ready to move from Southern California yet, but uh, wow, stunning. The incredible thing about Sedona is you are overwhelmed with the presence of those incredible red mountains, no matter where you are in town. And getting to Schnebly Road is very easy. In fact, it's right on Highway 179, and the road to the trailhead is clearly marked at one of the roundabouts. From there, you literally just follow the road until the pavement stops, and there you are. Like many things in life, you have to take the bad with the good, and the incredible views are offset by this extremely bumpy road. You can air down your tires, and I suppose that'll make it a bit less jarring, but it is just very rocky and very bumpy, so uh, take your tire off. All along the trail, you are treated to wonderful scenery. Then there are plenty of places to pull over and admire the beautiful vistas. This was typical of what we saw on the trail. Nothing hard or technical, just rocks and more rocks. And I don't like to run hard over these things, uh, so I drive kind of slow, but you can definitely run at your own pace. Again, the views are magnificent, and you cannot leave Sedona having not been just overwhelmed by the beauty. Hey, I wanted to take a moment to let you know about our two travel journals. I think you're gonna love these books. They're available on Amazon right now. Pick yourself up a copy. So I'm at the top of Schnebly Road and it's, uh, it's absolutely worth it. Uh, there's a plateau right here you can look out and it's just, uh, it's absolutely worth it. Again, the drive is not technical. For so those of you that are hardcore four-wheelers, uh, this is not gonna be your most exciting uh, trip. But if you're just looking for beautiful scenery, you, can, you can't go wrong here, this is amazing. So this has been a fantastic trip. I highly recommend Sedona. The, the town is probably very lovely. I don't know, I spent no time in the town, but I did get to see this amazing uh, nature. And for my money, that's all I needed to see. I can go back to California very happy that I came out to Sedona. If you find yourself with the opportunity to come out here, 
definitely do it. It is worth every penny. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or if you've ever been to Sedona, I would love to know. I plan to come back. So let me know some of the trails or some of the sites that I should definitely see. Put those in the comments. I would love to know uh, what those are because uh, I can't uh, I can't stay away. I've got to come back and see more. So I uh, hope, hope you enjoyed this video. Until we talk again, keep on trekking.